Now, photos have emerged of the Prime Minister drinking at a number 10 party during lockdown in 2020. The pictures obtained by ITV News cast fresh doubts over Boris Johnson's claims that he was unaware of COVID rule breaking in Downing Street. And our political editor, Andy Bell, is in Westminster for us. So, Andy, there's been this new picture. What more do they show? Yes, ITV News has got hold of four photos, Claudia Liza, which appear to show the Prime Minister at an event in Downing Street where he is holding what looks like a glass of alcohol. It looks like he's making a toast. There are something like six bottles on the table. Uh, we're told this was a leaving do for one of his senior members of staff back in November 2020. Now, at the time, the rules in England were that you could not socialise with somebody outside of your support bubble. Uh, you could get together for work purposes, but you certainly weren't meant to socialise indoors uh, with anyone outside your support bubble. The Prime Minister, we know, was not fined for this event. We believe that other people were. And uh, one more issue with this is that uh, despite what you appear to see in those photographs, uh, Boris Johnson has always said that, to the best of his knowledge, the lockdown rules were never broken in Downing Street, and he said that to MPs and he said that to them in the House of Commons as well. OK, well, on that, remind us where we are with Partygate. Yes, we're expecting the report from Sue Gray, the senior civil servant, as early as tomorrow, possibly. She had a report ready to go, but uh, held it while the police were doing their investigation. Now the Metropolitan Police have concluded their investigation. We could get that report any time. And it is expected to be pretty tough for Boris Johnson and his government, partly because we know she has access to perhaps 300 photographs, and we can see the power of photographs in this story. Also because in her interim report back in January, she said there had been failures of leadership and judgment inside number 10. So we wait to see just how difficult that report is going to be for Boris Johnson and whether it pushes any Conservative MPs to decide it's time for a new leader. OK, Andy, thank you.